Assalamu alaikum I am Javeria Khan a student of A levels from the City School Ravi campus I am so grateful for this opportunity to be here and talk about a subject that is so pertinent in our society yet so under discussed In Sylvia Plath's words the paradox is that the play is the thing to prima donna pouts and critic stings there burns throughout the line of words the cultivated act of fierce brief fusion which dreamers call real and realist illusion an insight like the flight of birds uh very early in my life i realized my way of expressing emotions was through visual arts uh it was grade 5 when i created my first ever short film with no idea of camera angles or editing or lighting whatsoever uh i took an ancient camera i casted my cousins as actors and started recording then downloaded an editing app sat for 12 hours straight and edited it and that's how my first ever short film came into being after that uh as i continued experimenting in this field and researching about it i've just fell in love with the art of film making and storytelling more and more so i came across this woman laura mulvey who is a british uh, feminist film theorist and as i read about her work on male scopophilia and how the male gaze was affecting the hollywood cinema and the film industry around the world in general as i read about it It was very concerning to me how all of this still exists in this world. Her theory introduces the idea of active and passive, how men are the active members of the society and it is their job to be the doers of the world while for women they're passive and their job is to help the men and to facilitate them in whatever it is uh, that their role is. Eventually it leads to these unrealistic standards because uh, in films a lot of you might have noticed what is shown is that women lack intellect and it is catered by their physical attractiveness so what happens is this eventually leads to the unrealistic beauty standards that are being set in the society and also to the idea that the job for women is to cater and facilitate to the needs of men the film industry is highly male dominant what we see is content that that is being made by men that is being made for men and the male protagonists and the male characters in it are men so this highly patriarchal influence on this industry as well as the other ones it just leads to women perpetuates the gender stereotypes even further the role of women is as mere objects in these films while the main subject is the men and they're the ones who are adding meaning to the films Uh, a very uh, common example would be the trope of damsel in distress where what happens is the women they're supposed to be waiting because men are the protectors and there's the one who's going to come and save them this eventually leads to whatever it is that's happening in the society and because media i believe is such an important tool in uh, educating people and the influence that media has especially in our times in the modern times it's more than anything else all of this has been greatly affecting the world of cinema as it shows how dominant the male narrative is in this uh, particular field as well as other aspects of the society this theory and a lot of other things actually affected uh, film and the media studies around the world and uh, in the recent years we've seen a lot of shift in this and we've seen how women can be the subject rather than the object and how they've come up with spectacular world for ex- a recent example would be the black panther film where we saw how women play these very strong roles and portrayed women as being a very powerful entity of the society around the world women are very less likely to be seen in media uh, as compared to men so a quarter of women are seen as subjects in television radio and broadcast media so a 2015 report it showed how women made up a mere 19% of expert featured news so as behavioral scientists studied these they realized how this was enforcing gender stereotypes At this point as a society as a community we realize that the media needs to change its view but the question here is who is going to do that the problem is all too common in organizations while people are realizing that a change needs to be made in this diversity they're not the ones doing it 
shifting the perspective as to things should be different to what can I do differently is the key. Uh, psychologically speaking, there's a difference between bystanders and confronters. Bystanders realize there's a problem going on. They uh, accept it. However, they're not doing anything because of the question that arises, am I the right person to make the change? Is it the right time to make the change? Or maybe there are other people who realize the problem and they're going to make the change. Being confronters, we need to realize that we're the ones who are going to question it. We're going to raise our voice on it. We're the ones who are going to raise their voice as to what is wrong is wrong and what's right is right so it's time that all of us realize that what is being showed on the media what is right and what is wrong filmmaking for me is very close to my heart i can do so visually what i cannot with uh, maybe words or speech so what i want is to highlight the stories of my community especially of the women because we have a very diverse culture and our community is so beautiful and all I want is to highlight their stories, to create these characters and to show the world through the lens of women and it's time that we see more of women narratives. I want to see women as directors and producers, uh, as actresses playing a more major role, being the protagonists and doing wonders in this field.